or not to shoot. It's a question many in law enforcement deal with every day. Today, community members met with Monroe County Sheriff's deputies to go through a shooting simulation and better understand the training deputies go through. They also got a chance to get in on the action. Christian Garzon joins us live now with why this tool is so important to the community. Christian. Well, Teresa, these community members meet with the sheriff's office each month, and every time it's a new topic. It's a way for them to break bread, find common ground, and understanding. Today was all about when and when not to use deadly force. Deputy Mike Zimera says the Sheriff's Citizen Interaction Committee meets here once a month. To review policies, procedures as they relate to how we conduct business at the Sheriff's Office. They are business leaders, social workers, clergy, different people from across the county. Who offer perspective on how we do our business and they offer ultimately input on how they would like to be policed. Today community members used a shooting simulator. It allows law enforcement to make a decision in real time using simulated deadly physical force. The reasoning behind us doing it, doing this is for us to really have a feel of what the officers go through. That's caseworker Carol Garrett and after today you don't want to mess with her. The one guy that came out he started out with a knife and then he kind of launched at me so and then that's when I did what I needed to do. <laughs> Garrett says this tool allows law enforcement to make the right call at the right time. Zimera says this is vital for training for intense real life shoot don't shoot situations. It ensures law enforcement is better trained and after today the community knows more about deadly force situations. It allows us to sharpen our skills in, uh, in decision making. And the committee was born out of a state executive order which asked police agencies to engage more with the community and offer feedback back and forth. Live in Rochester, Christian Garzon, News 8. Teresa, right back to you. Christian, thank you. You can read more about that penal code defense of justification with this story online.